I am so excited to share this with you. Displaying dynamic content has been a highly requested feature from the Gutenberg community, and we finally have it. A lot of blog plugins have been putting the dynamic content feature as a coming soon feature, but one of them has actually made this into a reality, and we are talking about the Stackable Gutenberg blog plugin. I don't know when you're watching this video, but at this moment, Stackable is the first Gutenberg blog plugin that offers this feature. I'm not talking about 2Set or ACF, where their focus is on advanced dynamic content and custom fields. I'm talking about blog plugins that are focused on page building. Stackable is also the first first blog plugin that integrates with the ACF plugin and if you have used ACF before, even the free version, you know how powerful it is. Now one thing is the dynamic content in Stackable is in its infancy stage and there is a lot of room to grow. Currently you can only add dynamic text and numbers but you can't add dynamic images, dynamic ratings and dynamic URLs. So these are the features I hope to see added to Stackable in the future or if you have any requests for dynamic features, please share your ideas in the comments comment section because if this video reaches the stackable development team, they know where to focus their energy on. And hopefully it reaches developers from other blog plugins as well. From what I know as I've contacted the stackable support team, they said that this is something they are working on for stackable 3.0 and just imagine how powerful it is going to be if we are able to control dynamic links and images and many more. Anyway, today I'm going to show you two ways to use dynamic content from the current stackable version to easily create amazing templates for your website. So let's go. Hey, this is Jack. If this is your first time on my channel, I share a lot of online business and WordPress Gutenberg tutorials and my main focus is to help you build a fast loading website with Gutenberg blogs without sacrificing design options. So if you want to learn how to build beautiful websites with WordPress, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. Now at this moment, Stackable is running a lifetime deal on AppSumo. I think it is about a one-time payment of $59 for the pro version of Stackable and you can install it on three websites forever. So if you want to check out the AppSumo deal, the link is in the description and in case the deal has expired, I've left links to Stackable as well for you to check out the latest discounts. So let's get started with the first method to use Stackable's dynamic content. Now, reusable blogs is a great way for you to create templates that can be used over and over again throughout the website. But the problem is, whenever you use a reusable blog, you always have to remember to convert it to a regular blog before you edit. Otherwise, whatever amendments you made to the template will be overwritten. It happens all the time. So what if you can create a template using reusable blogs and dynamic content? That way, once you've added the template to a page, you don't need to do anything or make any adjustments because the template template will draw the data from the article. Let me show you how it works. So for example, I've created this static template and I've decided to turn this group of blocks into a reusable block so that I can use it on other pages. So on a WordPress editor, I will select the base layer of the group of blocks. I'll click on these three dots and add to reusable blocks. And then let me rename this. Let's say that this template is a page header. Now let me go to the WordPress dashboard. And then let's add a new post. Let's do the necessary settings and let's give this page a title. And then let's add the reusable block. Let's add block here, browse all. And under reusable, we have this page header here. Now the standard way to use reusable blocks for templates is always to convert that block into a regular block by clicking this. But I want to avoid that. I don't want to make any adjustments to the reusable block. I just want to put it there and that's it. So in that case, what information needs to be dynamic so that I don't need to touch the template? I would say it is the post header, the post excerpt, and the benefits over here. For the post header and the post excerpt, we can convert these into dynamic content easily. So all we need to do is to select this header and let's click on this dynamic fields. And for the dynamic source, we want to select current post. And then for the field, we want to select post title and let's apply this. And now as you can see, the post title in the template now follows the post title you have created. And then if I want to make this sentence into a dynamic content, all I need to do is to select this sentence and click on this dynamic fields. And then for the few, we will select post excerpt and let's apply this. Now this has to draw information from this post. So if we click on settings and let's select post and if we go to excerpt, so let's say I put the post excerpt as 
and let's publish this and let's view post. So as you can see over here, this is a dynamic content and this is the dynamic content we have created as well. But the problem now is we have to create these five fields into a dynamic content. And to help us do that, we have to install a plugin called ACF, which is Advanced Custom Fields. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to Plugins and Add New. Over at the search bar, let's search for Advanced Custom Fields. And this is the plugin we need by Elliot Condon. I hope I've pronounced it properly. But anyway, let's install this and activate. Now, once activated, let's create some custom fields. Let's add new and let's give this custom field a name. Let's say this is top five benefits. And then let's add few. The field label, I will name it benefit one. And the field type, this is a text. And then that's basically it. I will create another few. This time around, I'll put it as benefit two. And then next, I'll add another few. This is benefit three, benefit four, and five. I won't go through these in detail, but I just want to show you a quick way where you can create custom fields. So let's publish this. And once this is published, let's go to the page we have just created and let's edit post. And now over here, you can see that we have all these custom fields over here. And now all we need to do is to convert all this into dynamic content to draw information from these custom fields. So let's say for this, let's convert this into a dynamic field. And if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we can see this ACF here and we have this benefit one. And let's apply this. And let's say the benefit one, this is awesome. And for this, Let's convert this into a dynamic view as well. Let's select this benefit too. I'll fast forward this and we are basically done. So let's say we give a value to all this and let's update this. And if we go back to the page and refresh and we have all this text here. And for example, if we go back to the first post, if I refresh this, you will see all of these benefits gone because in the custom fields for this post, there is no value. So let's refresh this and you will see all this gone. So if we want all this to reappear, we have to go back to the post. And then as we scroll down, we need to insert the benefits. So as we update this and we go back to the post and refresh and we are back to normal. And what if we add a new post? Let's add new. Let's do all the necessary settings. Let's say this is stackable review and we'll list down all the benefits. And let's edit the post excerpt. And then let's add a reusable block. And let's publish. Let's view post. And we are basically done. We don't have to do any edits to the template. Everything here are dynamic content. And if you want to, you can even add a rating here, which can be a dynamic content as well. I will show you in the next section how we do it. But anyway, this is how you use the stackable dynamic content with the Gutenberg reusable blocks. And now let's go to the second method of how you use stackable's dynamic content. Now, this will only apply to teams that offer the hook elements functionality. For example, Generate Press has the advanced hook system, Bloxy has the content blocks, the Neve team has the custom hooks, and the Astra team has its hook elements as well. But for this example, I will use the Cadence hooks. So in this case, I've created five new articles and I've created a new category called reviews. And these five articles are under the reviews category. Now, as you can see, these five articles are completely blank and I've inserted content to the fields necessary for the dynamic content. And now let me show you how the pages look right now. They are completely blank. Now, let me add one more custom field, which is the review rating field. So let's go back to the WordPress editor. Let's go to custom fields and add new. And let's say this is the review rating for hook elements. Let's add few. And then for the few type, I'll select a number. The default value I will put as 
the prepend I will put as zero, pen I'll put as five, minimum value is zero, and the maximum value is five. And the step size is basically the increment value. So if we set it at one, we can never get a 2.5 because each time you increase the value, it will be a whole number. So I will set it at, let's say 0 0.5. So I will set this as post category is equal to reviews. So this field will only be displayed on articles under the category of reviews. And then let's publish this. And now if we go back to the WordPress editor of the pages we have just created and refresh, we should see the rating here. So let me just randomly add some numbers. And let's update. And now we are ready to create the hook element. So under appearance, cadence, and elements, let's add new. Let's select default. Let's give this a name. And then let's add the previous reusable block we have created. But we want to convert this into regular blocks first. And let's publish this first. Now over here, we don't need to change anything because this is a dynamic content, this as well, and all this as well. But what we want to do is to add a new block. Let's add a paragraph for this. Let's write this as out of 5.0 stars. And at the front, we want to put this as the dynamic number. So let's change the color to white. And then over here, let's select dynamic views. We want to use current post. And if we scroll down all the way, we should be able to see this. Let's apply. And then next, we want to put this template to all the review articles over here. As you can see, they are all blank right now. So all we need to do under the hook elements, let's click on element settings. Let's put this as before all content. And under the display settings, we want to select single post. And then for this, we want to select group. And then we select categories and reviews. So once we update this, we don't need to go back to the WordPress editor of the page. We can just go to the blank page. And as we refresh, the template will appear with all the dynamic content. The same goes for all these other pages. As you can see, this is stackable. This is generate blocks. And if you notice, all the review ratings are different. And that's how you use Stackable's dynamic content with hook elements. So these are the two ways to use dynamic content from Stackable. Honestly, we are only scratching the surface of what we can do with dynamic content. And as I've said, it is still in its infancy stage. Imagine the power of this when we can insert dynamic links and images and it can fully integrate with the ACF to use all the functions. It is going to be a huge game changer. I'm expecting a lot from the Stackable team and I hope that plugins like Cadence Blocks and others will catch up to this development. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the dynamic content from Stackable works with other Gutenberg block plugins as well. For example, if I'm using the advanced header block from Cadence Blocks, I can also turn that into a dynamic content. So that's really awesome, right? As I've said earlier, if you want to check out Stackable, they have a great deal on AppSumo right now. But if the deal has expired, I've left another link for you to check out Stackable directly. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate if you can smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you think you have more ideas on how to use the dynamic content from Stackable, feel free to share it in the comments as well. I wish you all the best, take care, and stay safe.